2.3. We're going to talk about dividing two-digit divisors. Yes, Tristan? Yes, you may. So you and Zach need to talk less at the beginning of class and, and sharpen pencils more. All right. Now, when we look at our bracket, okay, we talked about this the other day. Divisor is on the outside, dividend is on the inside, and quotient is your answer to a division problem. Okay? So what they're talking about today is they're talking about dividing by two-digit divisors. For example, 24. Okay? 24 into, whoa, that bracket got carried away, into 248, something like that. Okay, that's what they're talking about today. Now, in these problems, you're going to have remainders. Okay? So, for example, let's just look at the one I did on the screen there, 24 into 248. Okay? Well, 24 goes into 24 how many times? One time. So that's 24, subtract those. Have a remainder, I mean a zero remainder there, so I bring down the eight. Twenty four goes into eight how many times? Zero. zero times. So that would be a zero. So I'd have a remainder of eight. So I would say ten remainder eight. Okay, and that would be your answer. We're not carrying it out. And eventually we'll get to a point where we'll add a decimal, add zeros, carry it out, and all that. Okay, right now we're not doing that. Okay, right now it's fairly simplistic. Um, let's do this one. 13 into 303. Okay. So 13 goes into 30. How many times, Noah? Two times. So that would be 26, remainder 4, bring down your 3. Okay. Obviously, you don't have to draw the little arrow. I just do that to make sure everything's lined up and I'm putting you know, the right digit over the right number, all of that stuff. Okay. How many times is 13 going to 43? Celine? Three. three times. So that would be 3, that would be 39. Subtract those, you get a remainder of four. I have no others to, another, other numbers to bring down. So that's 23, remainder four. Okay. All right, I want you to do number 23 on your own. Page 39. Because we're on 2.4, not 2.3. Oh, did I put 2.3? It's supposed to be 2.4. My bad. Change that. It's supposed to be 2.4. 23, let's remind ourselves, says 7,106 division sign 51. Remember, that means the 51 goes outside the bracket. 7,106 goes inside the bracket. Okay, the second number is always the divisor. It's always dividend, division sign, divisor. Who has an answer for me? Keep working if you don't. Keep working. Zach. Yes. Keep working. 
139, remainder 17. Okay. So we look at 51 into 71 goes one time. Be 51, remainder 20. Bring down my zero. 51 goes into 200 three times. It's 153, remainder 47. Bring down my six. Okay. Now, this is where you might have a little difficulty. Okay. But here, everybody look. Here's what you can do. If you'll look at the five, how many times does five go into 47? Nine times. Okay. So that's an estimate of what, how many times 51 goes into 476. Nine times that would be nine, okay? Nine times, I keep hitting those buttons on the bottom. Come on, get it, get away, get away. Get off of there, okay, you're not going to get off there. You got to. Wow. No, it's going to move. Okay, good. All right, we'll just move with it over here. There we go. All right, now, finally got it off. Nine times that is nine. Then we take nine times five be 45. Okay, and then that's where your 17 comes into play. Okay, and so now I have 139 with the remainder of 17. Now, how you would check that is you would do this. You would take 51 times 139. Okay, that would give us 931, bring down a zero. 5 times 9 is 45, carry my 4. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 4 is what? 19, carry my 1. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 would be 6. Add that up, 9, 8, 0, 7. Now you're going, well, that's not what we got. Well, you have to take and add the 17 to that. So if you add 17 to that, that's going to give you the 7106. So this and this check out. Okay? So the answer is 7, 1, 0, 6. Okay? The answer is the 139 with the remainder 17. Okay? The other way you can do it is you can estimate it. You could say 50 into 7,000. Okay? You could do that, 50 into 7,000, okay, and that's going to give you an estimate, okay? So you can estimate it or check it. Now, I am not requiring you to do that, okay? The directions say divide, then use estimation or multiplication to check your answers. I'm not requiring you to do that. If you want to do it, you're more than welcome to, okay? But I am not requiring it as part of the work. The only thing I'm requiring you is to divide, you know, whatever you're dividing and get the answer. Are we allowed to do that on our test? Are you allowed to do that on your test? Yeah. Check it? Oh, yeah, most definitely. I would encourage it on a test. Okay, now, um, let's look at... This one here, 7,694 divided by 95. Okay, so that's 95 into 7,694. Okay, what I showed you all ago will work on every problem. For example, 95 into 769, that's, you know, that's not real easy, okay? But I can check and I can say, okay, how many times does 9 go into 76? Eight. eight times. So an estimate of what it's going to be is 8. So we try 8. 
Now, the the problem that you run into, and I do it sometimes, is make sure you put the 8 over the correct digit. Okay, it goes over the 9, not the 76. Okay, because that's an estimate, because we got to divide 95 into 769. Okay, 8 times that is 0, carry my 4, 760. Okay, with a remainder of 9, bring down my 4. Does 95 go into 94? No. No. So 0 times B0, remainder 94. So I take that remainder and I go 80, remainder 94. Okay. All right, now. <clears throat> as you look at, let's look at a different one here because they're going to want you to use mental math to help solve division problems. For example, they give us 12 into 600. Okay. What they mean by mental math is sort of what I was showing you just a second ago, okay? We can think about how many times does 12 go into 60? Five times, okay? Mm -hmm. So five times that would be 60, remainder zero, so it goes 50 times. Okay, so that's... It's mental math in the sense of they want you to see correlations. For example, let me do another one, 70 into 840. What they want you to see is, is the correlation between 7 and 84. Okay, 7 goes into 84 how many times? Um, 7 times what? E Tristan? No, 7 into 84. Zach, no, Selene, 12. 12 times, okay, so if 7 goes into 84 12 times, then 70 is going into 180, 100, 840 12 times, okay, so they're wanting you to try to see the relationship between the numbers that you're dealing with, okay, they're wanting you to see that it's, you know, a little simpler than, than what it requires. And so when they tell you to solve or divide using mental math, that's what they're trying to get you to do. I don't want you to try to actually, I mean, if you have to work out the problem, then work it out, okay? But they're trying to get you to see the relationship between the numbers that we're dealing with, just like we did in those two examples that we just did, okay? Now, um... Let's turn the page and look at page 40. All right. Now, let's look at the box. The one that says, you know, algebra. It says algebra, and then it says functions. Okay. All right. We've sort of talked about this a little bit, but not a whole lot yet. Um but basically, what we have here is this. We have a, what they call this is, is an input-output table. Okay. They use input-output tables in functions, okay? What they've done is they've created two values, X and Y, okay? The rule up at the top says this. The rule is Y equal X divided by 33, okay? So that's the function. They call it a rule. Okay, then what they've done is they've gone in 
and they've put in the values that they want you to use. 396, 660, 1056, and then the last one is 2,574, okay? What they're wanting you to do is, is they're wanting you to find out what the Y value is. Well, the way we do that is simple. We say Y is equal to X divided by 33. What we're going to do is we're going to take the 396 and plug it in for X. So 396 divided by 33. Okay. So now we're going to divide it out. We're going to take 33 and divide it into 396. That goes one time, be 33, remainder 3, Oh, my bad. Yeah, hang on here. Yeah, that's right. No, that's 6. Excuse me. That's 66. I'm thinking of 36 in my head. All right, now. All this stuff is popping up, and I'm tired of it. All right, now. So, 33 goes into 66 how many times? Uh, two, six, one. No, two. two. Two times, be 66, remainder zero. So my Y is equal to 12. Okay, and that's your answer. So they want you to find the missing values. So do this one here. Do the 660. Okay, find the, the Y if X is equal to 660. take y is equal to 660 divided by 33. So what is that? What do we come up with? Jalen? 20. That is correct. Okay. So we came up with 20. So you do that with the rest of it to come up with the rest of the input-output table. Okay. Not very hard. A little easy, okay? Now, let's drop down to 42. Let's look at number 42. Okay, number 42 says the table shows the number of souvenirs Lillian has on display at the Kali Ocho Festival. Lillian puts rubber bands around each dozen pins. How many rubber bands does she use? Okay, so how many pins does she have? Noah, 1,032. So if she puts a rubber band around every dozen, how are we going to find out how many rubber bands she needs? Zach? Yeah, we're going to divide 12. We're going to take 1,032 and divide it by 12. Okay, because this represents a dozen. This represents the total pins. Okay, so we take 12 into 1,032. Okay, do that.
When you have the answer, raise your hand. Jesse, you got it? Do what? No, not not that. Owen. 86. 86 rubber bands. Okay. So, 86 rubber bands. Okay. Here's how you got it. 12 into 103 goes eight times. Be 96, remainder 7, bring down my 2. 12 into 72, 12 times what equals 72? Well, 12 times 6. That's why those multiplication tables are so important. Okay? Zero remainder. All right. Now, here's what I want you to do for your work. Okay? Make sure you write it down. We've got 2.8. Three or four. Two point four. I keep writing three and it's four. Two point four. You're going sixteen through thirty four even. Okay. Number forty. And then forty two through forty seven. Actually, no, it's not that much. 50,000? 